Are we egg gamers? I think we're egg gamers. We could also Minotaur. <laughs> oh, this is the bot. Does that make it better or worse to run egg? Hmm. I think it makes it worse to run egg. Because they're more likely to have an egg themselves, which would cause us to be very sad. <laughs> But we could egg now if we would like, which I think we do. <clears throat> but yeah, the uh, the extra damage like on a Merlin early is nice if uh, we care, but we don't care if they're a bot, so... Think of like uh, this... We'll uh, get ourselves into the power stance here, which will guarantee our victory. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> this the, the, the I don't know if anyone saw that, but there's like negative three damage floating above the cursed king. Oh, because they... was that because they didn't cast a spell or something? Maybe. Choices. I'm a little dubious against the pants that hasn't lost is the problem. But also our other choices are bad? Oh, maybe I... Yeah, I don't actually know. That's That'd be a good thing to know. This is a little more likely the egg dies, but a lot more likely we win the fight. Nice. Okay. Not a bad eeny meeny situation. We're Geppetto, right? I was like, wait, we do we have a hero bear? Apparently we do. Um I mean mostly we want the Brave Princess, I think. Vanguard here protecting baby root. Trades. We're still uh, okay. No! Dang! We win though. The Vanguard is the one at the front. I've been using that word wrong for a while. <laughs> Although I guess I've just used it more broadly as a uh, protective squad rather than positioning based. This feels sad to buy after casting a spell, but I think we go ahead and pick that up. Because my other options are pretty bad. <laughs> there you go, Phoebe. Oh, 
We are giving Baby Root attack now, but, you know, Baby Root's on the chopping block. Possibly even more so than Egg is. The 7-7 seven, seven Eggs, uh, feel a lot more playable. In a broad sense. I mean, Doggy can summon, it's a bit late now. But my other options are pretty bad. Mm -hmm. All three of these treasures. I'm liking Needle Nose to improve our Brave Princess proc chance and just give us solid power in our spell weaver and stuff as well here. But I think there's arguments for all of those. If we didn't have a Chupa here, I'd be grabbing one of these. This buffs the cats and the Spellweaver with the extra damage, so I think it's actually similarly strong and doesn't uh, risk dying. <laughs> There's a Sparky on Skip. I mean, we can just keep doing slave things. Okay, we got on Sheep and Wolf's clothing. We can, we can pretend we're Geppetto instead of a uh, master of slaves. I think we just power orb. We could also have Ares, but the extra health advantage on our summons might actually matter, and it never matters if we take Eye of Aries. And we've already got uh, daggers anyway. Sheep and Wolf's clothing buff was uh, a nice thing to see for sure. Like, you don't do anything here, but you're still the best piece I have to put here. Kind of a cheeky spell. Yeah, if you haven't seen the patch, uh, Shade, there's a lot of changes. I believe they are put back in the pool, Aurelia. Yeah, we'll do that then. How about... Like, Koopa buffing the uh, Baby Root isn't that important anyway, and this lets us actually be Geppetto. Which I think is something we want. It feels like we want to actually be Geppetto. Oh, that, uh, that, that beefy fro- okay, they get a trade in there, great. Wish that took in, hit into a, uh, godmother, but... We're still fine with our range and stuff, I think. Yeah. Even without it. Okay, Sporko's a good pickup here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
And uh, like I could run this here now, but uh, the problem with that is that with the, a cat summon in front of it, it's really unlikely they'll actually get to attack and get their slay out. Like a lot less likely than if it was just a regular unit that isn't going to resummon and then uh, steal the attack again. So I'd still rather keep Koopa in first. How do we feel about the witch here? We're reasonably strong. Um, we would like to find baby bears quite a bit. Yeah, that's reasonable. Yeah, so Sporko has uh, two extra attack now, base, but then we've also got Power Orb and Needle Nose Daggers. Those are the same, right? Yeah, okay. The uh, mage builds are also stronger this patch now, so you might see Sporkos with uh, some attack from that as well at times. Ooh, they just knighted their uh, Baba Yaga for their Chupa shenanigans. We should beat it now, but uh, it's scary going forward. Go left. Excellent. I still haven't had a chance to ha pick up the Ninth Book of Merlin. A new tier 5 treasure there. Uh, summoning Portal is now a tier 4. Okay. That's definitely some strength. We don't have anything like benefiting from our summons like a hippocampus or something, so I don't know if we want... We could probably keep running the uh, Chupa here. We've got enough to sell that I can still roll here. Okay. Do we lock? Do we spell? Do we just buy the baby bear now? Oh, I do want that moved over though. Poor positioning. Never mind, the spork is gonna be dead anyway, it's fine. Spellweaver's not too long for this world either. But still a solid ranged punch in the back line here. Even with all these uh, court wizard hits, we're surviving all of this. Oh, we do lose with that though. Yeah. See you later, Daggers. You did pretty good work. Wonder if we win if this is in the right place. It seemed like we had enough damage though, just not enough health. Imagine having something that cares about your animals dying. <laughs> that would be a nice unit to exist. Uh, wombats are pretty cute. Well, now I wish I could cast that, but... Okay. 
<laughs> we appreciate marsupials on this stream. Sometimes not enough. We're also pro capybara around here. Okay, that uh, lives. Only steals the crafty, but still good. Alright. Good work. We get a pig out of the deal as well, and we're level 6. So only skip is level 6. <laughs> we get weaker, but a level 5 treasure is very good. Ooh. All three of these pretty appealing with what we're doing here. Reading material. I wonder, like, I kind of just want to see if we can manage to make health matter on summons with Geppetto, you know? backline to benefit from the uh, damage in the back, so it's uh, pretty beneficial either way. Ooh. <laughs> That's pretty nice pull. They've got a really big uh, Wombat too here. Oh, I don't get my rage value. Those are very large. Everything you have is very large. Can we kill the Julia? Oh, I guess we can kill e We can kill anything. I, if I was asking, I should have asked for this. I, I, I had more attack back here than I had realized. Yeah. Monkey spot is. Now where is our bear stein? We are very much in a Berenstein waiting room sort of situation. I mean, we want to consolidate this anyway, so, yep. It does give us fewer rolls for Berenstein, that's why I hesitate, but... Blackouts is still big, but <laughs> we really want our bear stein to have. I mean, we don't have big pigs either. We would certainly take big pigs. It's too late to go the pumpkin route, but Geppetto is also quite good with pumpkins. Rude. I mean, better than the wombat. Wombat's more fun. Also, they're very weak, and the Wombat may not die. Although this, uh, Hippo- oh, I was gonna say, this Hippo might be healed several times, but never mind. It's a pretty big black clat, considering we don't have, uh, Bearstone. Bearstone's gonna make that very large indeed. Hercules a little appealing, but really we just need to find this friend. Thank you. 
Good to see you, sir. Um, deciding if there's any reason we want to cast this spell. Like, this is also pretty superfluous right now. I guess this is... With Bear Sign, this should be better. Yeah. Okay. Without Bearstein, even with all these, the Spellweaver is better for range, but with Bearstein, it's gonna double all of these <laughs> and Geppetto, so the, even the Black Cat we're summoning is going to be very large. Uh, do we want to do it uh, like this instead? Separate our backline against a Doom Breath? Big here. Somewhat strong against. Oh, the angry's in the back row, though. Black Cat is the same size as the Sheep Wolf. Did I see that wrong? Maybe they were 10 off and I... Yeah, they were 10 off, weren't they? And I just saw it wrong? That must be. I was like, this doesn't make sense. Now I don't know what to replace. Is it, uh, like, this is my default thought actually, but let's see. Like, this is plus 30, this is, yeah, it's a 20 range that has, that gives plus, god, a lot, it gives a lot, it gives so many stats. No, we're never out of paw. Uh, like, paw is plus 18, plus 18 to all of our resummons because of Bearstein. But yeah, look at the uh, attack of these units from uh, everything here. The Sporko's providing 30 of that every time. These things are huge. And really, I don't want the, the Wombat long term, but the Wombat has the most potential to do awesome things. If it manages to summon an animal, it's delicious. It's just, you know, only a... I'd have to actually look at the math, but like... 25% chance to summon an animal or something, so... <laughs> we just uh, want some big pigs there. Oh, hey, we got more board space again. Uh, what are we replacing Ring of Rage with? <laughs> Do you guys like attack? I think I like uh, attack. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've still got the chicken, so I don't need to settle on that spell necessarily. Like, it's fine, but it probably doesn't do much. If this gave one more health, I'd take it, because then Bearstein would be out of smite range. I don't like Pete very much here. Eh? Like, it's slightly better than this, probably. Yeah.
The problem is that Peep isn't summoning three sheep, Raven. So you can't think of it as summoning three sheep. We can make it summon two sheep pretty reliably, but... We can backline the peep, but then um, we don't get the uh, benefit of singing swords on four things in the front row. <laughs> Gonna go and grab this cat's call here. <laughs> um, that's potentially fair, Raven. Since it only costs three, it is probably worth replacing uh, what it is with. I'll grant that. Mostly we want big pigs, though. I'd love to cast that spell so much. Um, the thing is, if we lose, we need some. No, nah, screw it. If we if we somehow like lose or tie, I'm I'm casting Croc here. That's way too much fun not to take if possible. But we probably just win. They do get a, a, a decent pig of mine. That's the uh, third best hit on it, I guess. They just have 300 attack. <laughs> but they have so much defense, they're actually surviving hits too because of the sword. Sword of Geppetto buffs there. All right. Well, that's going to get resubbed, so it's not uh, actually dead yet, but, you know, it'll be dead once it attacks again. GG, Sparky. <laughs> There's the cats coming in, though. The 270 damage cats. 69 of health. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, so Geppetto can do uh, do some work. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing about that Raven is that Wombat is more fun and has more potential upside. And I want to see it do the really cool things. What did we get? Uh, 56. Mm -hmm. 